<clears throat> excuse me, that we can use. I mean, just even this week, the CDC had data that showed a huge, <coughs> excuse me, difference of mask usage, high quality mask usage showed a dramatic reduction in people having an infection with, with SARS-CoV-2. Mm -hmm. And it was especially proven if those people who were masked indoors plus vaccinated, it's layers and layers of protection. And so the more vulnerable you are, the more statistically likely you are to have a sickness. And I think this is where the frustration with language gets really, you know, personal here because people keep wanting to say that well, Omicron is mild. Oh, well, mild infection does not cause, you know, our deaths to go past 900,000 this week or our hospitals to still continue to have in some jurisdictions, you know, triage protocols to basically rank who's going to survive the most um, yeah. in how they handle their care. I mean, that is not a mild virus. And I think because of that, when you think about, again, the sheer volume of virus transmitting in the community, um, the more opportunities we have for people to have these infections, there's always going to be a, a section of that group that will have really bad outcomes. And it's not only those who are previously sick with comorbidities or those who have complicating factors. We're seeing young and healthy people still succumb to this disease and still have the other complicating factors like long-term long -term disability from the disease, long COVID, um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> And I think that when we just fixate on deaths as, well, I'm likely not to die, 